Hey everybody, Dr. O here. So there is a method to my madness. We started by talking about myths and misconceptions about fasting because I don't want you to be scared. I want you to be excited. Then we went through all the benefits of fasting for the same reason. I wanted you to see that fasting is not something to be feared and I wanted to see that fasting is something that can make you healthier, can make your weight loss more effective, can make it more sustainable. But now we're ready to actually answer the question, what is the best fasting method for you or for me? So all the fasting methods we're going to cover here can be effective. Figuring out the one that works best for you is really, it is up to the individual. I'm going to give you a list of questions you should be considering as you go through these. I'm going to try to share the pros and cons to every different fasting protocol that's, that's out there, really. Even some that I haven't used. And if I haven't used it, I'll explain why I haven't. So you're going to have to choose your own adventure here. You're going to have to choose your own intermittent fasting plan. So let's talk about some questions though that, that I want you to be thinking about as you go. Maybe write them down as you're going through the videos, be thinking about these things. Number one, how long can you fast mentally? Right, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to determine the fasting protocol that works best for you. We really have to know if you can do a 36 hour fast. And if you can't, maybe you can do a 24, maybe you can do a 16. And we're, and, and we're also gonna talk later about how you ease into fasting. You don't just jump right in. We're looking at what your goal fast should look like after you've prepared yourself and after you've adapted to this. So number one, how long can you fast mentally? Number two, how long can you fast physically? I'll give you signs later that uh, might be pointing to the fact that you're fasting too long. So we'll cover all that later as well. So how long can you fast mentally and physically? Number three, how much fat do you have on your body? This, this is a huge deal. If you're already lean, if you're 12% body fat, 15% body fat, I would never recommend you start with an alternate day fasting protocol. That's a good example. That's for people that need to lose maybe 40 pounds or more. So, the, so how much fat do you have to lose? And if you're, if you're starting in a situation like me where you have way over 100 pounds of fat to lose, then you can fast for much longer. And then number four, how aggressive are your fat loss goals? So how much fat do you have, but how quickly do you want to lose it? How aggressively do you want to go? So if you don't have very much fat and you want to lose weight slowly, then you definitely don't want to start with these early protocols. They're too aggressive for you. If you're, if you're like me, I was over 400 pounds, uh, then you can be really as aggressive as you want. And I'll, and I'll explain all of that as we go through here. And then lastly, something to consider, number five, do you have any underlying health issues that could impact how long you can fast? So we'll talk about that. Maybe you have to take medication or maybe you have some other underlying health issue that would make a longer fasting protocol impossible for you. Well, you might want to stick with more of your time-restricted feeding where you're still eating every day. You're just kind of slowly narrowing the window that you eat in. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to teach you how to choose your own fasting adventure. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.